Welcome back, friend, to my channel. Today I'm filming the what I eat in a day as a physician, choices I make, the reasons behind those choices. So I'm currently in clinic, but I started at home by finishing my jug of water that lays by my bedside every single night, followed by my chasty cappuccino, the one shot of espresso with a bit of whole milk. And then for breakfast, if I actually have time to eat it, try to squeeze it in the 10 minutes before I start seeing patients while I'm checking their charts. Here it is. My 80% of the time what I eat is truly instant oatmeal. Usually I do a half a pack of lightly sweetened apple cinnamon and then another third cup of plain oats. Throw in some protein powder. This time it's chocolate, boiled water, and natural peanut butter to top it. So I've got my protein, my complex carbs, and my fat. Looks a bit like a meth pack with peanut butter all over the place, but honestly, it's like having like dessert for breakfast. Boom. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's breakfast choice and the reason behind it. Definitely satiating so it keeps me full for a good amount of time. I'm not thinking about food after eating this. I gotta get back to work, but I'll let you know what lunch looks like in a bit. All right, it is lunchtime. I'm absolutely starving. It's 1.30. Decent time for lunch. Doing pretty good. Lunch today was not made by me, but whenever we order in salads from a local place called Mandy, I order a couple salads so that I have lunch for the next day. So that's exactly what I did here. Sweet potato, kale, broccoli, lettuce, mint, avo. There's tofu protein, quinoa. Like it is a loaded salad. Like I would have probably made this at home as well. What's not so convenient and what I didn't calculate the size of this bowl. So to mix the dressing in it, I always transfer it to a bigger bowl. Not possible today. I also only have a spoon, but you know what? It's okay. Boom. Mm. You know when fresh mint just like hits your tongue? That's what's up here. And I think this is like a lemon. That's actually sweet. That was a mistake. That was supposed to be like a cumin tahini dressing. So I don't know what happened there, but it's good. It's good stuff. Like a little Dijon, a little lemon and honey. That's what that tastes like. So good luck to me for eating this small bowl salad, but good on me for at least bringing it and having maybe five or 10 minutes to eat. There's this thing, when I was in training, that doctors basically never took lunch breaks. I don't necessarily carve it out in my schedule, I just find time, but I just didn't take breaks. I'm like, too busy, I have to see more patients. And I realized that that's so unhealthy, and this probably happens in so many fields. It does, it's this culture of like, I'm too busy to eat. I always thought like, how could people just neglect themselves and then expect themselves to show up for other humans? Like, I'm a doctor, I'm caring for people, I'm talking to them about their health, and I can't do the basics. That hypocrisy just didn't sit well with me and I almost always, there's always an exception where I'm too busy or I'm caught up, distracted for whatever reason or I don't have lunch. There are exceptions, but for the most part, I will have something to put in my mouth. In order to avoid skipping a meal, I'm only getting home and unfortunately binging on less healthy food because of starvation. Yeah, that's my little lunchtime chat. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna get to the rest of my clinic. See you at supper. So the thing about working in a big clinic is that it's always someone's birthday, which is awesome, but that means there's always treats. These massive cookies were ordered. So I took half of one because I need to experience cookies and cookies are my weakness. I wish I would have had this with the coffee like an hour ago, but I can have it with cold coffee. 